Hello, and welcome back to my five-year plan playthrough of RP1, where it will be a fairly short stream tonight, uh, and then I will be uh, probably offline for a bit because I have uh, family coming to visit. Uh, but we'll we'll see if I have a, a random night here or there. Um, it's Mars arrival time. Cool. I was looking forward to this. Yes, me too. Uh, also, I think I fixed the solar panel issue with Soyuz. I I figured out what was going on. Like yeah, there was I talk. yeah yeah the the solar panel fixed it wasn't. Uh, so yeah, all right. Uh, I guess. Switch to whichever one of these things is getting there earlier, which is Mars 1. I probably can decommission these Venus orbiters, given that they've ceased to give me any useful science and their solar panels are degrading. Speaking of solar panels, we're 100% inverted. Wonder how that happened, and how did you not run out of power? I guess it was just a Principia error. But... No, Kerbalism tracks based off your last direction, on the assumption that your whatever craft has RCS or reaction wheels, because KSP. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's as that's as expected. It doesn't it doesn't try to recalculate um, exposure over time. Yep. Uh, I want MCI. And I need to do a rebase, I guess because we will have to invert ourselves. That makes it better or worse? Nope, worse. Okay, and the rebase was <sighs> trivial. Although, uh, we are coming in at a thousand kilometers, which is kind of higher than I had planned. But I think I think I wanted that. I vaguely re it looks correct because I remember you setting it up so that the DN was matching up with um, Deimos' orbit. No, that was... I thought that was the other probe. But, oh yeah, you're right. Well, yes. Uh, the subsequent maneuver? Yes, this was the first one because I wasn't sure what I would get from the second one, so I wanted to be sure I could get 
I could tweak myself into a into a Phobos flyby with this. Right, right. Um, but you you got a better thing with the other orbit if you want to. Yeah. Load, lower perigee to get a little better. Yep. Yeah, but I think there's probably going to be enough perturbation that a thousand kilometers, given given how wide this fifty megameters, I think I think a thousand is fine. Okay. What uh, what per terms craft out at Mars orbit? I mean, I mean every space. every planet is slightly oblate. Mm -hmm. Lumpy. So I assume that's that's probably what's going on. Oh, I think this just had a nominal maneuver <laughs> that I just sort of vaguely set up. Yeah, what do I want out of this? Well, um, I think I actually want something that's that's more polar mm -hmm. because this is only. 64 degrees, which is not enough. Well, you're 20 days out, right? Uh, 15 days out, but yeah. Okay, well, still plenty of time to make another mid-course. Yeah. Yeah, so let's let's make a change. And we want to maneuver in I mean it doesn't really matter that much because we'll probably have to play with multiple axes uh, and yeah three minutes is fine oops that's in 40 seconds All right, so what if we shifted this way a little bit? That's getting nicely polar. Yep. Dirt cheap, too. Actually, you know what? Uh, I think I want to do this in MCI, and the reason for that is because we're looking at MCI, so I can better tell how to maneuver. And it's broadly equivalent anyway. Uh, I think I want us to keep my Perry Aries reasonably low, however. And that's that's enough to get poles. Yep. Yep. Okay. And I'm just burning this manually so I don't have to reorient to the sun again. Sure. Given that my RCS and engine are the same thing. Also only three meters, so no big deal. Yeah. Four meters, I guess. All right. All right, let's do this again. And Uh 
That's interesting. Okay. Okay, what orbit does this result in? That's still about 50 megameters. 87 degrees, that's fine. SMA of about 29,000 kilometers. Eccentricity 0.85. All this seems fine. Although there's no reason to have such a high apoapsis anymore. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, well, there is, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, and the reason why there is, is because um, in this current configuration, we'll only ever get space high above most of the northern hemisphere. So what we could do after we get all the space low is raise periapsis and then lower apoapsis down again, mm -hmm. which we, I think, have the delta V for. Should do, especially with such a high periapsis. Yep. Okay. All right. There's some spin stabilization. Okay. Uh, I guess we might as well warp. The other probe all lined up. Thank you. I mean, I tweaks. well, we're going to perform this maneuver a full day before I have to deal with the other probe. That's fine. And we're transmitting science from Mars. Yay. There's Mars. We made it. Yep. Awesome. Here's a five minute burn coming up. <laughs> yep.
Yeah, definitely a lengthy burn. How far away from Earth you are right now? Hmm? Sorry? Looking. Sorry, I was saying, I wonder how far from Earth you are at the moment. I mean, let's find out. Uh, antenna target, antenna. I guess debug antenna. Uh, and we want to debug. Mars 1 to ESS. Two hundred sixty gigameters, yeah. Close to the max range. Hmm? No, I don't think so. Is it? I thought that was close to the max range for Venus. I thought Venus was like uh, one hundred and fifty. No, it can't be one hundred and fifty, right? It could should be in something like. 200 something you're right ours yeah. should be further yeah so we're actually at reasonably close approach i guess yes like if we look at hci yeah there's the earth like it we're not truly at uh opposition but But this is still broadly opposition. I mean, it's kind of midway, I guess. Yeah. 90 degrees off. Yeah, because we like launched a year ago and went the long way. Yeah, we're quite close. Yeah, if you look at we're quite close to maximal for Venus, but we're not. We don't have solar interference, which is the thing that makes Venus at max range so hard. Wait, why am I in? Uh, I was looking at the other MCI. <laughs> cool. Also, we're still going to have comms for a bit, which is nice. 20 seconds. Okay. It's pretty good. There's our inclination, there's our well, that's not actually our apoapsis. Principia will tell us our apoapsis. Optical polar Mars orbit, as expected. Yeah, seems fine. Take it. Let's 
So let's solar align. Do you have any experiments on here that actually have biomes for space high? I think so. Okay. Um, I split them between the two probes, I think. But I think... Maybe imaging spectrometry? We'll find out. Yeah, I know that I don't remember which one has a biome for space high. Yeah, there is one. Yeah. Okay, so why have we... Oh, okay. Oh, I never, I never cleared the, the uh, contracts from last time. Yeah, you need to take Mars orbit. Yep. First rendezvous, first EVA, Mars flyby. That's one probe. Okay, and I'll take the docking thing so I don't forget. Also, we now have an awful lot of applicants. Oh no, I already folded some of them in, I guess. Yeah, I think you I made them all researchers or something. Yep. Which I guess is maybe still the correct move. Um, all right, we're back up to rep cap, more or less. Um, But yeah, our funds balance is getting a little tricky. If I pile some more researchers in, but I guess I want to. As long as it's not blocking a building that you really need. I mean, I think it's blocking R&D, which I really need. It's just that R&D costs uh, 60K a month to build. Well, slightly yeah. more than 60k a month. Plus, you don't really need it until you've capped your researchers. Right. Yes, it will take take a little over a year. So I guess I start it when I get crude orbit, and then I just have to ride the researcher cap for a year, which is suboptimal. Mm -hmm. But I also need to fold a lot of folks into engineers. I can't just keep piling in researchers. As soon as you hit the lunar crude hump, uh, then you'll be golden. Yep.
Oh, but I need... I can't quite do that. Because I need the cache to actually roll these things out. That takes two months, which means I'll have twice that. 40, yeah, we can go a little higher. Well, first I'll, first I'll grab my researchers. And I think that's about right. We'll start sinking some money into the admin building. September 66. What's going on in September 66? No, I guess it's not actually worth it. Because apart from geostationary, I really don't have anything else to be doing. Like, I could do that, I guess. It's two slots, so that's fine. I guess that's what I would take. But I could wait some time to take it. Yeah, the admin building is more about like an investment in future money. Yep. Yeah, which we'll need after crude lunar, for sure. Yes. Okay, so I think I think actually I wanna go back to minimizing that and build up some cash reserves so we can hire more researchers. Or everyone else. Okay, now we do the other one. Okay, the science is pretty much pouring in. Yeah, infrared radiometer too is biomes high. Yes, that's what the plan was here. Because we have the DN over the PE, so we can correct. Cool. Two 
270 days? What? Was that from your initial planning? Because I think you set this orbit up without like even a course correction. Why is it not letting you change it? Uh, because I haven't, re I hadn't rebased yet. That's why. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's clearer. And you're planning to go fully equatorial with this one? I'm planning to align planes with the moons. Okay. Uh, Deimos first. Like, like you have enough uh, retrograde to... No, I guess it's just because the plan length is not that long. Uh, let's see. Or in DM. Oh, God. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Over 15 days, that's a lot of noodles. Surprising, since... I just looked up Thanos' orbital period is 30 hours. We'll look at that. Um, that's in five days and 10 hours. So we'll go to six days and now do DMO and see what happens. Do we still get Why do we get so many noodles? That doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe it'll clear up once we actually capture. I hope it will. Anyway. Yeah, we're capturing the loosest thing possible to make our plane change as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can do a tiny bit of binormal during the capture, but it's not really even worth it. Yeah. I think I looked into doing that and it didn't seem worth it compared to the accuracy of doing it at the other end. Thankfully, that didn't actually make it much of a difference. This perspective, Mars kind of looks like it has pimples. Yep. I guess maybe that's not Olympus. Yeah, I just remember Olympus Mons is not actually super steep.
That's cool. That's a reasonable sun alignment. Okay, another five minute burn. Capture. Okay. Okay, so I have to switch to the other craft to get that contract to trip. Yeah, so your AP is too high. Yep. Uh, other, okay, now let's see how crazy DMO gets. It's still pretty crazy. I guess, yeah, it's slightly less crazy, but still, that don't make doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know how you try and generate an intercept out of that. Yeah, that makes zero sense. I would also expect there to be uh, AN and DN markers if there weren't. In 15 days? All right. Well, I guess I guess I should have probably captured a little tighter than that just to make dealing with this orbit non-trivial. Or less non-trivial. Okay, so somewhere around 15 days, 19 hours.
Let us... Bring that out. Because that's cheap. Oops. Okay, and I guess we can just align by visual inspection. Where's the checkbox to make it um, the maneuver inertial versus? Uh, right here? No, oh, inertially fixed, yeah. In DCI, that we still don't have a. All right, now at least we have a DN that we can look at. 11 meters per second and 3 meters per second. All right, so in 19 days, 17 hours and 47 minutes. We have a plane change of three meters per second to align with Deimos. So that'll be okay. Let's see if I can lower that in any way. Not really. Oh, because I'm changing it by like fractions of a meter per second. So we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Um, that's a little far. I thought when you went to inertially fixed, it would make it cheaper to do a binormal change, but not. No, because it's inertially fixed, so you have to. So, as your plane changes, but the binormal vector doesn't follow it. Right. So, that yeah, that's why. All right. If 
tweak it a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, the next relevant question is how long until that completes? It completes in 19 days and it's gonna take us 15 days to get up there. So we'll just ride this up. Nothing else of note is occurring. So let's do that. What's going on? Whoa! So that's not actually in 15 days. I just placed it wrong. Cool. Uh, because our orbital period is 10 days, so it's actually in five days. Gotcha. Which makes sense, because it was uh, somewhat similar for the other one. So let's use our handy dandy orbit prior. Okay. Okay, so we'll get one. And let's check the plane. Plane's a little high. That looks a little better. That also looks a little better. And let's look in DMO again and see a 12 meter per second burn. Ten days and That's fine. Although it does, oops, wrong one. It does make me think that what's correct is actually, what if we scrub the time of this? Yeah, that's better. OK. 
Okay, and let's vary the inclination. Still five meters per second. So let's try something more severe. Nope. Go the other way. Nope. All right. Scrub time, see if that makes a difference. Four, three, two. All right, now we're getting very, very close to the plane. However, to push that out more. So we're at the right orbital altitude. Okay, this is actually quite good. Because we'll perform the maneuver in five days and then we'll do another slight plane change a day later to perfectly align. And then we can preserve our plane. Hey, no, Mr. Bond. Um, we can preserve our we can preserve our plane and tweak the rest of our elements to try to set up a a uh, they must fly by mm -hmm. in not that many more orbits. Okay. That all seems pretty good. Let's go ahead.
were already basically aligned. Oops. Uh, shoot. I have to rebase. Because that just screwed things up a lot, I bet. Oh, not... Not super significantly. In DMO... Yeah, okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, here's a fun trick I just realized. Right. Uh, we can vary between engine and RCS to know what the dispersion on residuals is. So we have somewhere between 1969 and 1812 meters per second. So we'll probably get another 70 meters per second out of this stage. From where we are now, maybe a little more. That's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen the uh, custom display for your RCS Delta V and Mechjet, but I never activated that. Uh, that's new in the dev version of PVG. Like, quite recent. All right, so how did that end up? That's pretty close there. Let's look at DMO. In DMO, we have an AN in nine hours of six meters per second. So, uh, nine hours, 42 minutes. That's reasonably close. Okay, so we're talking about 
minus 6. Why didn't that help? Did I somehow go in the wrong direction? Apparently. Yes. That's telling me the velocity to correct, not the... All right. And... What is the MDL frame, by the way? Uh, oh. Mars Deimos Lagrange. Okay. So you can go to L points. All right, that looks pretty reasonable to me. Okay, and we need to have, we need to burn six meters per second. Six point three. Okay. Oops, wrong way. We underburned. Okay. Now four days.
Okay, in DMO. It's in seven days. Let's try to decrease that. Okay, cool. That gets us within four kilo uh, four thousand kilometers. I'm misreading that. Four thousand kilometers is further away than I thought. Is that four thousand kilometers? It looks like four million to me, but that's four million meters. Oh, sorry. No, oh, I'm brain dead right now. Oh, I mean, I kind of am too. Yeah, 40 kilometers. Yep. Whoops. Oh, that maneuver is in the wrong place anyway. It should be there. Basically. <sighs> All right, let's try that again. That's in seven days. That's in four days. So we'll look at this one. See how close we can get. thousand kilometers. Two hundred kilometers. Pretty good. Yep. All right, that was as close as we can get. So we can then refine up at Apoapsis. Cool. Okay. So now we just need to reorient to the sun. Given that we're not facing anywhere near it. I really hope that that didn't just uh, screw up our plane. Probably did. Okay, there's the seven day one. Let's see what happens if we rebase. 
There's now an AN of 1 meter per second. And our, and our P is still quite close, 89 kilometers, so that's fine. So what if we give it a little binormal? Wrong way. Okay, that's better. And let's twiddle this a little and see what happens. Can do a little better than that. Eighty kilometers. Yeah, so we'll refine 80 kilometers at apoapsis, and then we'll arrive. Pretty good. Yep. Just double check that's still a bunch of time on this. 13 days. All right. So we hope to arrive in seven days, so I think we're okay. Let's do it. Yeah, we're 80 kilometers above the orbit, that's why. which I guess we could have refined and then maybe had had an encounter uh, clean without having to clean it up twice, but it doesn't really matter the order. Yep. Uh, does seem like Principia doesn't necessarily reward you for trying to... Uh clean everything up perfectly in one maneuver because you're always just going to screw up that tiny smidge later. Yep. Yep. Real life is a series of course corrections. <laughs> <laughs> So the border is 100 kilometers, so you're going to get something out of it. Actually, no, that's outside the sphere of influence. Wow, did we really underburn that much? That's crazy. What happened? It's kind of bonkers. Are you looking at the... Oh, it's in six days, yeah. Yeah. 
Look at that. That's screwy. Alright, well. Uh. I guess I'll do it around four days, 17 hours. Oops, that's the predicted one. Where's the planned one? Oh. Needs to be a little further in the future. Okay. That's extremely confusing. Because that's... Oh, I'm in DMO. That's why. Yeah, that's making a little more sense. Nope. No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it is, because we're going to actually encounter it not there. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to be a perfect encounter, which means our capture delta V is going to be a little higher. I actually didn't know you were going for a capture. Cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, we want to suck a dry of science. <laughs> yeah, I think ideally I would just try to align... Yeah, I think I actually do want to do this. I think I want to do that. Get real close to its orbit. Six day one. Twelve day one. It's the six day one. So one meter per second of binormal. Yeah. Okay. Cause that no, nope. Nope. I guess we're just too far away from... Oh, 
Thoughts. Where's the other node? It's in three days. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah. There's the there's the 80 kilometer one. All right, let's tweak it a little bit. Nope, that was pretty good. Let's tweak this slightly. I don't think that's going to be worth it. Nope, doesn't seem to be improving the situation very much. I mean, yeah, not for the delta marginally, B. Marginally, but yeah. Not that either. Did you try going plus prograde? I think you only tried negative. No, it it's bad both ways. Ah, uh, the reason is because we're crossing the orbit. Right. It's in three days and three hours. So a maneuver and in... yeah. Let's try this. That's looking better. A little. Not really. Don't you want to try something that's like a couple hours ahead of the intercept? Potential intercept. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess we could do a few hours ahead. Oops. No. Okay. Okay, so where's the... It's over there. Yeah, that takes us down to 47. way. Yep, stay.
stick a little radial in it and we're good. Whoops, we have a Deimos impact. <laughs> nice, okay. Way to generate an intercept. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I'm reasonably happy with this. All right. 3745. 3.7 kilometers. So we need to then perform a capture burn as we approach. Yeah, so we have an 18 meter per second fine tuning burn. And then. 264 meters per second, the relative velocity there? Yep. That's the capture. Good news is you'll still have tons of Delta V if you want to also go capture at Deimos. Bad news is you have to do it in Principia. Ah, uh, you mean Phobos? Yes, sorry, Phobos. Yeah. yeah, no, I was certainly planning to do Phobos later. Meanwhile, we've completed the orbital contract. All right. Let's perform our fine tuning. We have to look in DMO because we're going to need to rebase after that, for sure. Didn't actually... Oh, it brought us in by a kilometer. Uh, I wonder if we're actually going through it. We very nearly are. Cool. Okay, that's, I feel a little safer about that. Yep, although if you're doing your intercept right, you would be able to fix it. Hmm? Well, you're gonna basically be stopping dead next to it anyway. Yeah, 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 I just, I wanna be, yeah, I wanna have stop. more clearance. Yep, fair enough. Downside is I don't think there's much in the way of a stable orbit, so we probably have to like land or something.
Amos apparently has a 450% rush limit, so as long as you're within four point times, five times the radius, there, there should be potentially an orbit. <laughs> okay. Probably won't stay, very, stay still very long. Three hours and 54 minutes. Now we can look in DCI and no longer have things go nuts. Okay, 264. Give or take. Oh no, that's my entire velocity at that point <laughs> with respect to Deimos. That said, orbital velocity is so low that <laughs> three yep. meters per second less. That is not a very stable orbit, my goodness. Nope. In a day, we crash. Although by crash, it's, it's not much of a crash. <laughs> yes, it's descending at three meters per second. Yeah, I have no idea how you make a stable orbit around this thing. I, I, yeah, I think you're better off landing. Well, I want, I want the 90-day <laughs> orbiting science. Uh, I think you just go there and then you futz with many orbits to see if you can get something that works, but uh, I would guess something that is polar for would be more stable. Uh, less Mars perturbation, you thinking? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, let's... I don't know if you've heard the air quotes in my other voice here. Yes, stable. All right, well, that's going to be polar now. That was cheap. It's like I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, polar seems worse. Yeah, polar seems well. Light it a little bit for further back. The maneuver time. But yeah, I, th I think I was very wrong. I mean, it doesn't stay polar. That's for sure. Nope. It doesn't. It doesn't stay orbiting either, really. I mean... Yes. Collision. <laughs> and then after the collision, if it kept going, you'd eject, so... All right, so let's have as wide an orbit as we possibly can. And yeah, yeah, we eject.
Man, I thought the moon was hungry. Yeah, I guess we... Are we ejecting here? Yeah, we're ejecting here. Goose it a little more, I guess. And there we go. That's the that's the crash that I expected. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we're going to get a little science from it. Yeah, what are you going to do with that, though? I mean, you're just going to watch the probe for a while and then try and correct one before the crash occurs? Uh, or just land it. Okay. I mean, I'll try to get the, like, the, the hour science first. Or 20 minute science, or whatever. It's a potato. Maybe in the meantime, you could get Kirk to pick up this article for stable orbits around the Martian moons. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we actually have enough information to know that. I mean, I guess we've probably done enough flybys, but... This guy at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base thinks he has enough. Oh, okay. Alex, I... My guess is that it's at least it's at least uniformly oblate. I don't know if it's lumpy. Maybe it's lumpy in the way that there's lunar mass cons or something. All right. I'm looking at the Principia channel and somebody, I mean, people are going off stable Deimos orbits. I can tell you what they've got. Yeah, that might be nice, but I think it's a project for another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it Cause... next time. Yeah. Because, uh... At least we've achieved this. Um, it's not like our velocity of impact will actually be severe, <laughs> in fairness. Um, and I wonder whether I should... Yeah, I'll get, I'll get like 20 minutes worth of science and then land. Yeah, by the way, I was wrong. It was an uh, equatorial orbit. Equatorial is better? Yep, apparently. 
Okay. Well, we'll just wait until our DN. It's not like it's expensive to correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go three meters per second that way. So I think the SMA was nine kilometers. What was the eccentricity? Go back to it. Um, eccentricity point zero four five. Inclination a hundred and sixty four degrees. Okay, so a retrograde equatorial orbit. Yep. Cool. Anyway, that's, I think, good enough for me because I've transmitted science from Deimos, so I'm happy. Cool. Um, yeah, I wasn't suggesting you do it now. Just yeah, yeah, if you want to bookmark that or send me the link to it or something, so I, forget, I don't forget either. Um, yeah, we'll do. Oh yeah, I need to orient to the sun, which <laughs> definitely changes my orbit a bunch. Hilarious. Okay. Spin up, and we're good. Got comms, got solar, got all the things. Nice. All right. I'm going to go to sleep. We both definitely need it. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Yep. All right. Yeah, thanks for coming by. No problem. All right. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I will catch you next time. Night.